In this video, we will be showing you how to upgrade the Precision T5500 processor from a Xeon 5650 to a Xeon 5670 and showing you how to install a second processor and additional RAM modules on the riser board. To get started, we will remove the cooling duct on top of the RAM modules to allow access to the heatsink. There are four screws on each corner of the heatsink that we will have to remove to access the processor. Once all four screws are undone, you can simply lift the heatsink up and out of place which reveals the processor underneath. To remove the processor, simply apply pressure to the lever on the side of the socket and then lift the bracket up. It is important to note the position of the processor in the socket because it can only be installed in one position. The small gold triangle on the processor must line up with the gold triangle on the motherboard, as you can see here. Once the bracket is open, to remove the processor, very gently lift up on the edges and lift the CPU from the socket. Be sure not to touch or bend any of the pins on the other side of the processor. Let's set this down to the side and continue with the installation. After cleaning the leftover thermal paste off of the old processor, you can see the Xeon 5650 has a 2.66 GHz clock speed, 6 cores, and 12 MB of cache. In contrast, you can see here our new pair of Xeon 5670 processors that we will be installing. The 5670s each have 6 cores at 2.93 GHz and 12 MB of cache each. What we need to do now is simply clean the heatsink up a little bit. Using a paper towel, we can wipe the dust and old thermal paste off the bottom of the heatsink and get it ready to install with the new processor. We're going to go ahead and install the new processor now. Installing the new processor is basically the reverse process of removing the old one. Gently line the processor up with the socket and carefully drop the new processor into place. Then lower the bracket and latch the lever into place securing the processor to the motherboard. Now we will apply thermal paste to the top of the processor. We will be using Arctic MX2 thermal compound for this process. Now just apply a dime size amount of thermal paste on top of the processor. Using a gloved finger, spread the thermal paste evenly across the top of the processor. Thermal paste provides for optimal heat transfer between the CPU and the heatsink. This allows for lower temperatures and increased performance on your processor. We will now lower the heatsink onto the processor. Make sure the heatsink is lined up properly before installing it. Then simply tighten the four screws, one on each corner, in an alternating pattern. Once the heatsink is properly installed, test the system before moving on to installing the second CPU. Here we have the Precision Riser Board which allows us to install a second Xeon CPU with heatsink and three additional RAM modules which are located along the back here. If we turn the riser board around, you can see this is where the RAM modules are installed. We also have a cooling fan for the memory and the heat sink as well. Remove the memory cooler by pulling the blue tab and lifting upwards, and then disconnect the fan wire from the board. Then we will remove the four screws from the heat sink as we did with the first processor. Once the screws are undone, you can lift the heat sink up to reveal the second processor socket underneath. You can then open the bracket by releasing the lever as we did before. Then it's just a matter of properly lining the processor up in the socket. Ensure that you line the small rolled triangle on the corner of the processor up with the triangle printed on the riser board. Once it is lined up, drop the processor into place, lower the bracket, and latch the lever. We will then apply a small amount of thermal paste to the top of the processor as we did before and then evenly spread the paste along the top of the processor. It's then just a matter of lining the heatsink up with the processor on the riser board. You then just need to tighten the screws on each of the four corners as we did before installing the first CPU. Then connect the heatsink wire on the riser board like so. We will now install one of the 8GB DDR3 ECC RAM modules onto the riser board for testing purposes. Check out part 3 of this series for important information on installing memory in the system. To install the memory module, we will line the module up with the slot and press the module down into place like so. 
Then connect the memory cooling fan wire and snap the memory cooler into place like so. The riser board will now connect to these two white connectors on the motherboard, which you can see here. These two connections on the motherboard correspond to the two connectors on the riser board. We will now set the riser board down and connect the 8-pin second CPU power cable to the riser board. Next, rotate the riser board around and line it up like so. Then simply slide the riser board into place and latch the lever down. I will show you another angle to make sure this is clear. Hopefully this has been a helpful tutorial. Be sure to subscribe for more on the T5500.